everybody and welcome to Entrapment. Now this game was made by Scared Square Games. Try saying that five times fast. Um, it's an adventure game. It was made in Adventure Game Studio. Um, it's got a 4.3 rating. So it says Sam Drake Sam Drake keeps waking up in ho in hotel rooms with the bodies of dead girls in the room and the police never far away. He has no memory of what happened to him the night before. He thinks that someone is secretly drugging him and then trying to get him framed for murder. He can't think of anyone who'd want to do this to him. He, ha he has had some lucky escapes, but this time, the killer has made it harder for him to get away. He's determined to see Sam behind bars. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. What is that, a, a pot? Ashes? I don't know. Let's see what it's about. Cutscene? Daddy? Dad? Will you shut up, you little brat? What have I told you about talking unless I tell you? But Daddy, I need to tell you something. What is it, you poor excuse for a child? It sounds like fucking Vegeta. I'm sorry, Daddy. I was mopping in the other room like you told me. It better be spotless in there, boy! Well, the mop handle, it knocked over the... the special jar. What? I'm sorry, Daddy. It was an accident. Your mother's urn. No. You. You! You wretched child! You worthless little monster! How could you do this? I'm sorry. You know what you should be sorry for. It's your fault your mother is dead! No. She died giving birth to you! And for what? So I have to look at your ugly little face every day? When I look at you, all I can think of is that you killed your mother. My throat is killing me right now. No. You murderer! No, I'm not. You're a little murderer. And you know where little murderers go? They go to prison. But that's not good enough for you. Instead, I'm gonna beat you within an inch of your life. You disgusting, pathetic boy. No, Daddy, please. Smack. Take that, you bitch. <laughs> oh, it's, I thought it was Ash. It's, it's, it's his mother's urn. Oh my god, that was killing my throat. Holy shit. God, I shouldn't make these voices. All right. 23 years later. Ugh, my head. Where am I? My hands are soaking wet. Is that sweat? What's going on? I can't remember anything from last night. Well, let me find a light switch. Uh, whoa! I just almost tripped over something. What the hell was that? I think there's a light switch over here. Let me just... Oh my god! That's what I said! Oh no! Oh god, not again! She's got... She's brutally fucking murdered! Holy crap! My name is Sam Drake. And for the past month... Someone has been trying to frame me for murder. But who? It seems so long ago now. I arrived home late one night. We had some mail, so I grabbed it on my way in. There was a letter among it. It simply said, 
I will frame you for murder. It's his dad, goddammit. At first I thought it was just a joke. Some kid's playing a prank. What's that, Sam? Oh, nothing, Mar Martha. Just junk mail. Don't worry about it, honey. Is that my wife? But I was wrong. Oh my god. Soon after that day, I woke up in a strange motel. Ugh, my head. I had no memory of what, it, of what had happened to me. Where am I? I felt drowsy and my head hurt. Hello? It was as, it was as, as if I, I have if I had been drugged. Martha? Is that you? Oh, his face. Oh god. And there was a body. Who who is that? Oh, the cops. Book it. I escaped, narrowly avoiding the police. I love how they put the police with capital letters. I hoped that the killer would see that his attempt to frame me had failed and he would leave me alone. But I was wrong. But it continued to happen with different girls in different hotels. All of them murdered. I had to find who was doing this. His attempts became more frequent. And every time, I couldn't remember what had happened to me before it. Oh, jeez. Now was the fifth time it had happened. I need to get out of here and find who's behind all this. I'm supposed to click on it? Oh, it's a click and point. <laughs> point and click adventure game. What should I check? head. All beat up and shit. There are some smaller cuts on her face. It looks like the killer made a slashing motion with a knife. And the girl's face got in the way of it. The blood is matted in her hair. She's wearing a bobby pin. Maybe I could use her for something? Take it. I'll take it. Hopefully it will come in handy. Boop. Oh, I got a bobby pin. I should let her rest in peace. Oh, there's no peace in that. I can't sleep at a time like this. Sign, it says so. Can you go faster, please? The police are coming. Please, dude. Hurry up. I can't think of any reason I would need to take that sign. Uh, a window? Maybe I can escape out the window? Hang on, what does this sign say? I just told you to read the fucking sign. Why didn't you read it? There's a lengthy sign below the window about it. Why it won't, why it won't, why it won't open. Dear guest, we at the hotel understand that our residents lead exciting lives that vary from person to person. And we understand that po patrons will choose this hotel for our high standards of discretion, especially when it comes to wanting a night away from the wife, or the mistress, or female adult worker, or a prostitute. However, occasionally the wives of unfaithful husbands will find out about their affairs through through no fault of the hotels. In the past, these wives have been known to hire men, hitmen, to kill their husbands. Unfortunately, these hitmen find that the opportune moment to strike is to use a sniper rifle bullet to the brain of the husband while he is visiting the hotel den. Okay, what's it say? This caused an awful lot of mess, which the hotel had to clean up. Because of this occurring on a number of occasions, the hotel thought it best to bulletproof all of its windows. This means a safer environment for you and your mistress. Also, due to the number of guests choosing the hotel as an ideal location for suicide, the hotel has had to have all windows made not to open. We apologize if this causes any inconvenience to you. Kindest regards, the hotel dent staff. Wow. That's certainly something you want hanging above your head while you're trying to sleep. Jesus. I should leave the picture alone, unless there's some sort of funnel leading out of the hotel behind it. But I sincerely doubt that there is. Um, how far the door is still there? I wonder, man, her face is like fucking brown and shit. Fucking purple. Fuck. Can I use a bobby pin to open it? 
no use. The bobkin is too small to pick the lock. I'm just going to have to find the key. God damn it, no. Is there a clock? Messing around with the clock isn't going to solve anything. Bookcase. Is there any key in there? Unfortunately, there are no books here entitled How to Stop a Serial Killer from Stalking You Whilst Escaping from a Hotel Room. Why isn't that funny? Doors. Keeps in here. Upon closer inspection, it appears that these are not real drawers and are carved into the bookcases for mere aesthetics. Um, the door. Can I go outside? Oh, I can. Oh, wow, why am I here? Oh, shit. Large plant. Give me some plants. There are some cigarette butts in the plant soil. Gross. Is that a, it's a telephone? Can I call? I'm not gonna call the police. I was gonna say, can I call the police so they can come rescue me? Who should I call? The police, are you stupid? No, it's not a good idea to call somebody. Uh, TV. I can't watch TV at a time like this. DVD player. I really feel like watching a movie. I kind of feel like, though, I'm in one. You're in a game. The bolts of the floor. There's no point even trying to move them. Um, the windows are bolted, so there's no reason to do that. A toolbox. Wait. What the hell is that? What? Wait, what? Oh my god, is that a... What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a... It's a bomb! Jesus Christ! Looks like it's been rigged to blow when the door is opened. Damn. The killer is not messing around anymore. Looks like he, he either wants me arrested or dead. And what does this sign say? Damn, this is fucking crazy. Cleaning will commence here every day at 12.30 p.m. No. That means I just I have just over an hour to get out of here and warn someone before the cleaners come and open the door. And then... Boom. Oh, God. I need to get out of here and warn someone. Door. I can't escape. I'm screwed. Can I go in there? Yep. All right. What's in here? Is the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Soap. Kind of reminds me of film I saw where they made soap for human fat. I forget how it ends. Sink. I don't need to wash my hands. They're clean. Are you sure? A mirror. I look tired. I need to get out of here. Toilet. Take a shit. I can't go when I know someone's watching. Oh, don't be a pussy. I don't need to use that right now. A towel? Yeah, there's a grate. I can escape there. I can't think of any reason why I would need a towel right now. Shower? Are you trying to say I stink and I need a shower? Yeah, you stink! You smell of shit! Okay, um, vent. The vent is too high up for me to reach. Um, there's nobody, there's nothing else here. Uh, shower curtain? I'd rather not touch it. Looks like it has things going on it. Ew. Can I open these drawers? Uh, light switch? This thing? No. Water? Ground? The, the carpet? Nope. Nope. Okay, nothing here. Let's go. I don't know what to do. I'm screwed. I'm fucked. I am fucked. Couch. I know. I need to get moving. Toolbox. There's gotta be something in there. Go. Come on. Oh, there's no reason to do that. Come on. What's in here? It's locked with a padlock. I can't open it. Oh. Maybe. I'll try to pick the lock on the toolbox using his bobby pin. Yep. It worked. Let's see what we have inside. A gun. Hmm. Nothing in here but some pieces of wire and a screwdriver. The killer must have taken everything out. These wires won't be much use. I'll take the screwdriver though. So. What now? Maybe I can use the screwdriver to open the closet. The bomb. Can I use it like that? Maybe. There's a front panel of this bomb casing fitted with screws, but I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm no bomb expert. What if tampering with the closet could explode? It's probably best if I just leave it alone. You sure? Alright. Alright, you're pretty sure I know. If you open the door and I lose, I'll try now to leave through the door and go home. No! Hang on. Because of the bomb! That's what I'm saying. I'm so stupid. It's funny how 